Hello guys, hope you are doing good. Today, uh, my topic is about HANA uh, sizing. So, um, I have already created one document regarding uh, HANA, uh, you know, administration. So today, uh, as per my commitment, I'm back with uh, another, you know, tutorial, which is all about uh, a proper HANA sizing so uh, what is uh, hana sizing a proper hana sizing is um, important for any customer who wants to uh, switch to sap hana as a platform to run the sap business suit for sap business warehouse it is mandatory for calculating the sap license for enterprise edition in memory metric based and it is the end that is well uh, important to assure the optimal performance of sap hana so uh, let's start where the HANA uh, memory requirement is most important, uh, um, you know, for the license calculation. There is also sizing for uh, CPU scores, disk space, network load, which are which are important for the expected performance of the HANA uh, system. And in this article, in this tutorial, um, uh, actually, we uh, concentrate on the HANA in-memory sizing. So, HANA uh, in memory sizing is determined by the data, of, uh, you know, footprint like um, column store contains the business data, row store contains um, only mainly metadata like uh, data dictionary, some system tables, and HANA uh, memory is also used by other, uh, you know, processes like HANA uh, caches, operating system, and um, memory um, memory uh, you know working memory so um uh, actually um what we uh, you know uh, do during the installation process is like um uh, getting the info of uh, sizing of the hana database uh, you know revolves mainly around uh, you can say that a man a man memory sizing man memory size the required man, uh, memory to find the data set base uh, in memory is determined from the you know size of the source database so the hana um, compresses the data stored in the memory the compression are dependent on the user scenario so uh, so you can determine the amount of HANA memory needed uh, and memory sizing must always be performed using the quick sizer for the sap uh, hana Uh, requirement scope scoping is like a product stack and um, like uh, identify the SAP products, components, and uh, versions, determine uh, HANA systems and version integration components. Landscape is all about like um, gather um, landscape requirements, non um, prod scalability, uh, scalability and availability requirements, and uh, size and growth requirements. That's about the landscape. And uh, deployment scenario is like define the landscape and the HANA deployment scenario on premises, cloud visualize it, it is uh, visualizations. It's, it, this is all about uh, uh, deployment scenario. Sizing gather like gather application and HANA sizing Im imports initial and uh, operating uh, parameter uh, parameters. Let's let's take a uh, let's let's take a look at uh, like uh, any database and the HANA HANA SAP HANA database. Man, what do we have in the any database like data database processes and uh, database cache source database is any database like to HANA database mem uh, you know uh, management working memory table data where it stands like uh, in uh, any database and uh, uh, this uh, HANA database. Let me just go to that. See uh, the scenario here. It's kind of uh, any database, data cache, database processes, source database, SAP HANA, database management, working mem memory, data table. So it's all about like uh, based on the uh, memory value, like uh, where you can choose uh, a hardware configuration. The SAP HANA uh, database uh, system can be deployed as an SAP HANA tailored uh, data center a tdi as an sap hana appliance uh, setup in both cases you can choose uh, like a uh, fitting hardware from the catalog uh, you know certified hardware 
So we have a scenario like new implementation, database migration, that is the scenario. And uh, what we have in the SAP business suite is like OLTP, SAP, BW and HANA, OLAP, and then we have a non-SAP network. So quick says for, uh, for the business suite. So that is like how we do with the SAP business suite uh, sizing and uh, for new implementation. And then quick says for the SAP, BW and HANA for OLAP, like SAP, BW, uh, scenario and then we have non-SAP um, this network that sizing guides are available like we can go through I'll show you them uh, you know um, in the different um, slide this um, screenshot so let's go back and see uh, what we have in uh, sizing SAP HANA concepts like what we have SAP HANA customer must perform in a memory sizing new SAP HANA implementations, quick sizer systems that are running to the SAP HANA migration and uh, use the report on the source database. These are actually SAP sizing HANA concept. This is sizing SAP HANA concept. So where we can use all these scenarios to uh, you know, scale our HANA database and to, si to get the prerequisites and to do sizing formula or to uh, get the correct uh, infrastructure or the hardware sizing for our HANA database. So this, this can be used as a reference. So what the example of memory distribution is like, what, what is the conception of the memory business data, column store, HANA memory, working memory, space for grow, business growth, operating system, HANA cache services, metadata, and row store, as I explained earlier. So sizing, uh, sizing SAP HANA concept, SAP HANA customer must perform in memory sizing. SAP HANA, uh, you know, implementations, quick sizer, systems that are migrating to SAP HANA. Migration is from, and uh, like uh, SAP network. As, as I, uh, I think I have uh, copy pasted twice this screenshot, but it is the same actually I explained. Customer interested in SAP HANA S4 HANA. So uh, SAP S4 HANA. So new SAP uh, HANA system, greenfield sizing, that is, uh, you know, you, you you people know that what is greenfield, brownfield. So this is greenfield. Like uh, we can use the concurrency of the users to get the sizing, and um, you know, uh, hardware supported for HANA identifying the Linux operating system requirements. So this can be used as a you know uh, greenfield during the greenfield installing the database HANA system, installing the HANA cockpit, performing post installation, and working with the database explorer, monitoring stuff. That is that is equal that is same for you know uh, uh, what we're supposed to post country that's the concept of post configuration but the greenfield method is like uh, to implement a new scenario use um, uh, quick sizer final find the deployment options and uh, SAP uh, Taylor database and integration TDI cloud via SAP cloud appliance library So sizing SAP HANA basics, sizing of the SAP HANA database is based mainly on the requirement main memory. The memory uh, size is determined by the amount of the data that is to be stored in memory. So HANA com compre compresses the data, as I explained to you in the screenshot earlier. Depends on the use scenario, you cannot estimate the amount of the HANA memory uh, you know, used. So what what actually is that like uh, when we use the appliance? So first uh, fast implementation support fully provided by SAP is like uh, SAP HANA server storage fixed setup, and then we have Taylor database. Uh, Taylor uh, this data center integration is like uh, installation but done by the customer. SAP HANA guidelines can be used for the virtual virtualization and customer aligns uh, with the parts on the individual uh, support model. So what do we have like. Uh, more flexibility from the Taylor TDI perspective, flexible setup, and uh, in uh, you know appliance, it's all it's only fixed setup. But a tailored tailored uh, you know data um, uh, centered integration is all about like uh, more flexibility, save IT budget, and existing investment. Uh, Hana sizing scenarios we have um, as a earlier explained like a uh, new implementation database uh, like uh, BW, SAP BW on HANA, SAP HANA uh, non-network. So I explained it earlier. So this is going to be a screenshot for it actually I explained. So now HANA uh, sizing methodology is like AnyDB app, 
So you can see man memory disk where actually it stands is the key sizing parameters for uh, AnyDB and uh, HANA DB and uh, HANA app. We can use the SAP Quick Sizer. How to use the SAP Quick Sizer? You need to go to the link below like sap.com, benchmark sizing HTML, Quick Sizer, and uh, SAP HANA version, create project then, and you can just uh, create project as you see here. And then you can create a new project and, uh, and you can assign the parameters. And then you will get a calculation, simple sample calculation results like uh, I, have, uh, I have generated one. So sizing approach is uh, SAP in memory appliance, certified appliance, so where we can see the Taylor database, uh, data, Taylor data uh, center integration to use available in hardware, to use the, to reuse hardware and save costs. And uh, you will you'll see this uh, benchmark results here, like search results, you can get this uh, as per Taylor database. Like as I see uh, here, it's uh, 7.5 TB and 10 TB, 30 TB, 14 TB, 16 TB. Sizing uh, approach um, is all about like um, uh, in, in a Taylor data center integration setup is like RAM sizing for the static and dynamic uh, data, disk sizing for the persistent storage, CPU sizing for the queries and calculations. Man memory sizing is, uh, I have just uh, created a screenshot where you can get the man memory sizing, SAP Quick Sizer, SAP Note, I have given all the notes here, so you can follow those notes. Sizing for a suit on SAP HANA using SAP Notes, I have calculated this as per the SAP Notes, you can go ahead and check those notes. HANA memory, HANA man memory sizing approach is like uh, determine static plus dynamic RAM uh, requirement. Calculate uncompressed data volume to be loaded in the into HANA tools provided. Apply compression factor from attachment to sizing nodes. You can use the formula RAM dynamic is equal to static RAM. RAM static, static versus dynamic RAM memory requirements. Static data memory uh, requirements. RAM requires to amount of uh, man memory used to use for holding the table data. Dynamic uh, data memory requirements. Additional memory for objects that are created dynamically when new data is loaded or queries are executed. Disk sizing. So you will, while sizing with a HANA uh, system, consider the disk requirements including the following. Persistence area, data volume plus log volume, software configuration log. What, what are you going to, uh, you know, to calculate it for a software configuration logs and traces? space for backups so each backup space is uh, is equal to data size plus radio log size so you can use the formula data for data backup log backup full backup so disk sizing is uh, disk space required for the data volume so you can see i have calculated and the, the path will be hana uh, data uh, aside Disk space required for the hana installation you can see the sizing uh, like size calculations uh, plus node is equal to 1 into RAM, that's equal to 1 TB. And examples I have given here, single node, and um, it should be on the scale out and scale uh, in process. So um, what, are you, what are you going to use is recommended is a scale out process for uh, configuration of uh, additional app, uh, apps. So uh, recommended is for the scale, scale out process. So DB size, DB CPU sizing is sizing approach similar to user-based CPU sizing of a BW and BWA. Maximum query throughout by multi-user scenarios with a, uh, queries of different complexity out of delivered content, 10 to 20, 20 million records. So assumptions uh, you can see there, and uh, normalization of query throughout per core, resp active per core. That CPU 300 SAPS per active user. So it, it depends on the concurrency of the user and as per the business scenario. So you have to follow that as per the business scenario. So no, the CPU has to be adjusted so that the server load does not exceed 65% in average. That's what actually you have to keep in mind. So guys, this was all about the sizing and I will create more data, uh, you know, uh, videos like this for backup and administration and installation. This was the initial of, uh, um, you know, uh, sizing, how uh, we are going to prepare the installation of uh, as for this uh, database, uh, HANA database. And um, 
then we how we're going to uh, you know uh, upgrade the database how we're going to post go uh, configure it and then uh, how we're going to migrate it this uh, before all doing all these things we have to uh, look into this prospect to how we are going to install the HANA database. So the sizing is very much important in this scenario. So previously I have created a document which is available on the LinkedIn for only, uh, you know, introduction of uh, HANA database administration. So this was the first video on the administration for the sizing. Next will be backup, installation, migration, cockpit, and other tenant databases, recovery, restore, and everything I will create in the phases. I hope you will enjoy the video. Please subscribe to this uh, YouTube channel and like if, uh, if you feel that, yeah, you have gained something from my video. Thank you.